This is a GCS News Break. Today's young people were made by the history that the a and 4 created. I am proud to have been involved in ensuring that their legacy is properly preserved and honored by Guilford County Schools. The Middle College at North Carolina a and State University has a new name and logo. The a and 4 Middle College at NC a and State University. The change honors the a and 4 David Richmond, Franklin McCain, Jabril Kazan, and Joseph McNeil. The students staged the first sit-in in Greensboro's history at the Woolworths lunch counter on February 1st, 1960. We were all aware of the courageous acts of these young men. The actions were not only brave, they were inspiring, especially for kids like me, my siblings, and our friends. They showed us that teenagers, yes, even teenagers, which they all were, could take a stand and change the world. And change the world they did, making a significant impact on America's civil rights movement. Thanks to the Greensboro Four, this day I am able to attend any restaurant, walk into the front door, drink from any fountain, and soon, soon, I will be judged because of my character, not the color of my skin. The statue honoring the four men on the school's campus, now accompanied by the middle college's name and logo, the silhouette of the same image. We are honored and thankful that you have chosen to honor our fathers in the way in which you have. And we support this school to the very end. And I know that if my father and if Chip's father were still living, that they would have been here today and they would have been granted from ear to ear. The school may have a new name, but it has the same educational excellence. The four believed that is what sparked change. He would have been inspired to see these young men today give that oath about education because it's some things my father believed in was education. And without education, he wouldn't even be able to do, to sit down at that lunch counter with the uh, teachers and education and with the other three young men who believed in the same thing to inspire their lives uh, to change the world. Family members hope this adds to the legacy of the a and 4 and helps create a new tradition for the young men and women who follow them for generations to come. You are part of a legacy. So the a and 4 represents, they didn't wait to say you are our future. No, you are the present. You are the current generation that will answer the cries of our ancestors and answer the prayers of your grandparents. We want you to hold that mantle of the a and 4 but we want you to set your own legacy your own footprints in the sand. This has been a GCS News Break.